What is up guys, one NFL boy here, here with my first ever Black Ops 2 gameplay here on the map, I don't know, honestly, but yeah, um, today you guys are watching a Black Ops 2 gameplay on this map, I forgot what it's called, but yeah, and I'm using the PDW, I go a little ham in this gameplay, and it's not the best kill death ratio, I'll tell you that, um, I'm still trying to get used to this game, haven't played it enough, and plus, this is an Xbox gameplay, if you guys haven't seen. Now, it's not that I'm switching to Xbox, guys. Um, and I got outplayed right there. I mean, look at that. But um, I'm not switching to Xbox, guys. I am still primarily a PS3 player. But I, rem I remember if you guys remember when I told you guys that by Christmas I should have my PS3 fixed as a Christmas present. And so, um, yeah, that, that's when it will get fixed and I'll be able to play it on PS3 because I already have it on PS3. Um, since my PS3 will not read this for some strange reason, but besides that, this is an Xbox gameplay, still trying to get used to the Xbox controller, um, soon I'll get used to it though, and you know, I can alternate between the PS3 and the Xbox 360 controller. So yeah, hope you guys do enjoy this gameplay, I was using the low streaks, which were, uh, UAV, 100 kilo drone, and the care package, so hope you guys do enjoy now, I really want to go to my first impressions of this game. And I know it's pretty late now, because since the game has already been out for a month, to start doing my first impressions. But I really want to get mine into consideration. The game is very difficult, guys. It's probably the hardest Call of Duty that I've ever played. But it's the most balanced Call of Duty. I have to say it's really balanced. Because, you know, Ghost isn't OP anymore. You gotta rush with Ghost. You can't, you can't sit in the corner. Really, you just can't do that stuff anymore. And so, you know, that's that's what really struck me the most about Treyarch. Treyarch are listening to the community. And that's amazing. Something Affinity War cannot do. But, you know, I'm not complaining between, between the two companies because one year people will be like, Infinity War is the best. And then the next year people will be like, oh, Treyarch's the best. So, you know, I don't I don't pick sides here. Um, they're both really amazing companies. They both made really amazing games. So, no need to complain. Call of Duty is one of the best first-person shooter series. And in my opinion, now I feel like every single Call of Duty is the best one. Um, they're all good. So, but it's all your preferences as well. And wow, that was a bull right there, you know. Getting outgunned in this game, that's another problem I really have. Like, I'd be shooting first. You saw how that guy just, I don't know, he just magically just put like a magical five extra shots into me. And then you got a magical kill on me. It's... It's ridiculous. I always shoot first, and eventually I just get killed. It's ridiculous. But, you know, Black Ops 2, man, I love the gameplay mechanics. Uh, it feels really smooth. And if you were coming from, um, whatchamacallit, if you were coming from uh, Black Ops 1, you'd be having an amazing time on this game. Actually, actually exercises on Black Ops 1 was probably a good idea for a lot of people. Especially that uh, dogs, or known as canines in this game, are back. And that's amazing. Um, and another thing I have with this game is that it's very difficult to get kill streaks. Me and Matt were actually talking about this um, when we were playing a game of League of Legends, and we were talking about how Black Ops 2 is, he's been having even trouble just to get a UAV, and it's really, really difficult. I'm not gonna lie at all. Um, I really don't like the score system streak, but I'm not gonna complain about it too much because it does balance out the game. And it does allow players to play more objectively and not camp. And I understand that. But it's just that it's really difficult to get those streaks. Especially that now, it's like kill confirmed. You just got to get the tags. You can't just get a kill and then run away, you know? I, I, I just always liked having the feeling of just getting three kills and getting my UAV. Now it's like three, tw 325 points, 325 points to get your UAV. And that's pretty insane. I don't like that. Um... I don't really like that concept too much, but it does make people uh, play the objective more, so I'm not going to complain about that too much. Um, I'm just going to have to get used to it, but you know, there's something different from uh, that you don't see from most Call of Duties. Um, but yeah, um, the kill streaks, man. Like, I've been seeing a lot of great gameplays on YouTube these days. Like, this one isn't, it's pretty mediocre in my opinion. It's not that good, but... Um, I've been seeing some majorly amazing gameplays on um, other people's channels, and I've been like, how do you guys do this? this is, the game is really difficult for me. Like, 
I don't know. I've, I've tried every setup. Really, I'm what I'm really finding the best is SMGs, as a lot of people say. Um, just find the PDW, one of my favorites. PDW is amazing. I love it. Has really clean iron sights. And, uh, yeah. I'll, uh, that must MC, I've been trying that out as well since I'm, uh, I think I'm first for, for Siege now. I think I'm first for Siege now on Xbox. But, um, you know, I, I've been trying that out, and I honestly don't like the recoil too much. So, I've been really sticking with the PDW. Scorpion Evo is another amazing SMG. Um, no wonder they made it last to unlock. But as a default class, I think that thing is too OP for a default class setup. Um, it's a really good gun. I I just, I'm in lost words for this gun. It's amazing. It's It kills people really fast, especially when you got silence and rapid fire. Oh, man. And the pick 10 system, guys. I really like it so far. The pick 10 is really, I think it really balances out uh, and makes it, a variety of things that people can use it's not like there's gonna be that one class setup that's gonna be the best to use like in Marvel for three the ACR and the mp7 you better use those in your class setup and it didn't really matter what perks you use but assassin was always dominating but now you basically have a chance of anything you can carry multiple perks you can carry multiple uh, weapons you can carry multiple uh, grenades uh, you know, you can choose whether you want a secondary or not, you know, you get 10 choices to do with your weapon. So it's really, it's a really unique way of changing up Call of Duty. I really like uh, Treyarch's intelligent minds of listening to the community and um, getting overall feedback of how we want things differently in our video game. Because, you know, it is the developer's video game, but it, in, the, in, in the end, it's really ours as well because we are the ones that created the community. And that was boring. There, you see, I was shooting, and for some reason it doesn't work. I don't know why, but yeah. Um, but Treyarch, man, you gotta give them credit. They're a really great company, guys. You know, don't turn them down. This year, I'm expecting a lot this year, so uh, hopefully the map packs are amazing and everything. Um, so uh, the map design, maps are fairly decent. There's a lot of flank routes. Um, a lot of head glitches. So I'll say that too. Um. You know, and there's a lot of places to rush and flank and get behind the enemy. Uh, I really like it. Um, just that, I don't know, but the maps don't feel too campy now. Especially that UAV spam is very common. And uh, not too many people will be sitting down doing nothing. Um, it's non-frequent that you'd see somebody just sitting there in the corner doing nothing. Um, especially that now Ghost, you have to be running in order to activate Ghost Effect, basically. So, if you're not running, Ghost is pretty much useless to you. I don't know... Why people even use ghosts and still try and camp in corners? It's like ridiculous. But yeah, guys, you know, ghosts is very annoying. Um, you know, you're just going to have to get over that. But, you know, now that rushing is more common, um, I've gotten on many gunfights. And uh, Black Ops 2 feels more active. That's just the hard point. Hard point is getting, becoming one of my favorite game modes. Kill Confirm and hard point. Like, it's so stressful to play Domination. And that's another one thing I really want to talk about. Domination is crap. Why did they make it half half for domination? It's very, very difficult to play domination. I don't know why they did so. Um, you know, five minute segments, domination's supposed to be, you know, full on kill kill, you know, capture capture, you know. And it feels like it takes me out the game now that there's two parts of the now I just don't play domination in a whole. Um I'm sorry, domination is a great game mode, but I just can't give it credit. Um, this honestly should have made its own, uh, little, uh, own little, uh, whatchamacallit, playlist for, uh, Domination and then the other Domination. But I have no idea why they wouldn't have done so. It's very ridiculous. Um, you know, I'm really hoping for something different, um, for Domination. Um, Headquarters and everything is alright. All the game modes are pretty much all the ones that came back previously from all for 3. Um, except Hardpoint's new. And, um, you know, it's, I really like it. Hardpoint, you know, it's a lot of action in Hardpoint, I really like it. It reminds me a bit of, um, it was really hectic, it was, like, regular headquarters a bit. Uh, it, it kind of acts as in the headquarters, but, you know, it's kind of a King of Hill as well, as a King of Hill style. It's not really a search and destroy, like it is when you capture a headquarter in, uh, headquarters. So, yeah, and here's, uh, the RCXD, and I cannot believe I failed right there with the RCXD. I was pretty mad about that, but, yeah. Just pop up right behind there, and then look, the spawn just put me right behind him. Could you believe that? <laughs> and there's the Hellstorm. This is my first ever Hellstorm. 
I think. I don't know. When I was leveling up during the weekend. But hope you guys did enjoy this gameplay. I went 30 and 24 with the PDW SMG. Um, I put a lot of my thoughts on Black Ops 2. Really amazing game so far, guys. More Black Ops 2 gameplay to come on the PS3 and the Xbox 360. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy. If you want to play with me on Xbox Live, my Xbox Live is Zach and Bro. So hope you guys did enjoy. More Black Ops 2 videos to come. Peace.